my B I B L E, and this is what it says to me. It tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need, so I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, He cares. When you see, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you see, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. What it says to me, it tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need, so I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, He cares. When you see. God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Good morning, kids of Southwest. Mr. Jory here. I hope you've had a great month after Christmas and this month's life app, the last week of responsibility. So I have the wonderful opportunity to teach you from Ephesians. So let me first read to you Ephesians 4:29. In Ephesians. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. So I've just read Ephesians 4:29. Now, I just want to let you think about how powerful words can be. Think about when you're at school. Think about when you're at home. Think, boys and girls, about how powerful words can be. Well, let's take a look at this little orange right here. Okay, very healthy. You know that I'm always encouraging healthy foods. Well, let's just imagine that I were to take this. Yes, this is a sledgehammer. Very powerful. This orange. Right here. Now, I want you to think: Is this on this something that could possibly destroy this orange? I think it possibly could be. I think it could. Right there, right there. Let me just set it right. No, you know what? 
you know what? I'm going to choose not to use this hammer because this could be very, very hurtful to the orange and everything all over in here. So when someone says something like, you stink, or you smell bad, or you're not very good, you're not good at that. Those are all very powerful, mean words. So, let's think about these things right here. Saying things like, you're awesome. I love you. God loves you. I care so much about you. You're fantastic. I like your hair today. That was so nice of you to do that for someone else. And how about Jesus loves you. How about I'm really proud of you today. And how about I love you. Your mom and dad must be so proud of you. So it'd be great to build somebody up. You know, sometimes we do make mistakes. We do. And what do we use to fix it? Yes, E6000. Or if I had super glue, it'd be Craigle. Or just glue or our words. And so, boys and girls, think, you know what? I did accidentally say some not very nice things. So saying things like, I'm sorry, or I didn't mean to, those things, boys and girls, can help make those things better. So you can use this glue to help mend and make things better by saying nice and kind things, just like the Bible here tells us to do. You know, they used to say, sticks and stones don't break my bones, which you know what? They really wouldn't, but they're going to hurt my feelings. And you may say, no, they don't. But I will tell you this, that it is much easier and much nicer when you do say those things to others. So boys and girls, I want you to remember Ephesians 4.29. Let me read it to you one more time. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. So if you're not going to say anything that's going to build someone up, then try to think of something that you're going to say that's going to build them up. So let's take this time now, if we can just end thinking about responsibility, thinking of saying wonderful and powerful and positive words to others, and loving words, of course. Why? Because Jesus loves you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, when these boys and girls think about the things that come out of their mouths, Lord, help them build others up. And even when they recognize that maybe they said something that hurt someone's feelings, Lord, help them use the glue and not the hammer, Lord, and to build others up like those building blocks, Lord. In your son's heavenly name, amen.